Lansing, with obvious exceptions. I mean, we have good people down there fighting the good fight. But much of the leadership, um, and unfortunately this applies to some of the leadership in both parties, don't understand the term promise. I mean, we made a promise to a whole bunch of high school students, and they worked really hard to try to achieve with the promise that if they did so, the state of Michigan would help them through school. And, you know, my son was one of them who went to the mailbox one day and got a letter with the governor's return address on it. Couldn't figure out, well, what is this? I mean, he's used to letters coming from the government, but not usually that. <laughs> and it was a letter saying, you know, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, we didn't do it. We didn't, we didn't keep our promise. We're going to try. We're going to get back to this. And, you know, it, it bothers me. It bothers a lot of folks, especially, I think, young people who we are trying to encourage to be those thought leaders, to enter into a transaction of promise. And think about the irony of that. When the letter arrived and said, well, we were kidding. <laughs> to me, that, 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 that's just not acceptable. Virgin? I agree with my colleagues, <clears throat> and we will unveil a major talent retention initiative soon. Our young people are our future economically, and a lot of us would like to see our kids and our grandkids here. The number one way to keep them here is with economic opportunities. The reason why a lot of these kids take their degrees and their talents and go out of state is because they simply can't find a job. They don't see an opportunity here in Michigan. And it starts probably their junior year in college. They start looking and they start making plans and we're losing them. So we invest in them and we have great universities and great education systems. We invest in them, we give them our best and they are leaving the state. They are taking a one way trip out. That is a huge issue. It's a number one priority that we have got to reverse. And that's why I say we've got to make Michigan the number one place in the country to do business because that means jobs. And we will unveil a plan for that as well. But I, 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 you know, I admire that, that uh, Alma, for example, has put this stuff out there. She's been uh, working and has the plans, and there's a lot of good ideas there. Thank you. The next is for all 